Hi everybody, me again. <laughs> Lori here from Unique in the Creek. And Lolly. We have Lolly reading comments today, or this time. So, this is my second time live today. And I will be doing a third live a little later on where we're going to do the angel. Um, I'm on a bit of a deadline for a project. So, um, I'm doing picture, I, I have photography pictures of my wreaths tomorrow. So, I have to get these done. Okay, you have to turn that down, Ma. Okay, very good. So, Lolly's going to read the comments. Say hi as you come in. Um, today, this uh, tutorial is going to be on the Unique in the Creek character board. And this is the center uh, I just created. Very simple, black and white. Just welcome to our home. Make sure I spelt everything right. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, I got this fabulous, fabulous ribbon from Michaels. And this ribbon from Michaels. And we got some mesh. And we got these, I love my daisies. Like I said, when I buy these, I buy them all out. These are from Michaels as well. And we're gonna make a really, really cool looking uh, everyday wreath that you can put up whenever. Uh, and the colors we're using will pretty much, pretty much match any door. So, um, I gotta catch my breath. It's been busy today, holy moly. And I still have another live to do, to, the angel to do later. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the outside rows. So row one, which is the eight. Sorry guys, I just watched a video and you guys have probably already heard. I know Monkey just went live. Um, one of the ladies in our community, she just lost her grandson, who was just 10, to uh, leukemia. And um, we're all going to rally and try and raise some money to um, pay for this little boy's funeral. So um, if you're watching, I have posted a, um, a post regarding, I'm going to have a live auction Sunday. It is going to be incredible. So if you've been watching me since uh, beginning of December and you've seen all the wreaths I've made, um, pretty much every single one of them, unless they were a giveaway, I have available <laughs> down at my warehouse. So if you wanted something of mine that I, I've made on a live, make sure you join us Sunday at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time because we are doing a live auction and 100% of the proceeds are going to be divided between Joey's funeral and Danielle, which is Damon's little sister, not by blood, but it doesn't matter if it's by blood or not, um, who is also fighting a battle herself and has some huge medical bills. So we are going to try and help out. I have all these gorgeous, gorgeous wreaths hanging up all over the place, all over the warehouse, all over my house. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna sell them and we are going to raise some money. So if you, have uh, go into my photos section on my Facebook page check out everything that I have posted because more than likely it's still there strawberry ice cream butterfly uh, all kinds of stuff um, it will probably be auctioned off on Sunday we're gonna rally and get some money for this uh, this poor family but anyways back to where I have deadlines so business must go on I am going to do this character board and, um, whew, okay. Okay. So, I'm going to do this character board. I'm using these simple, really pretty ribbons. Got, uh, the diamond harlequin, harlequin, whatever it's called. And I'm going to do the outside row with not rough, yeah, ruffles, and the inside row will be poops and um, ribbons and flowers. I'm not doing a bow because um, I want to keep this simple. And this will all make sense to you guys in a few months. <laughs> but I make, make these simple. 
So I got this ribbon. I am going to use this ribbon because I really like this ribbon. It's just a kind of like a burlap ribbon with this black print. I don't even remember where I got this one. Whew, it's hot in here. I have been working, everybody. Oh, I've been working, working. Yes, I'm just not needed anymore. No, you're needed. People are saying you need it. I can see I it. I know, because I said, I guess I'm not needed. Oh, was that you that said that? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it come up on... Lolly's reading comments, and I... I know, that's what I said. I'm not needed no more. Mm, only because Mon you Monkey's were... having an auction on Saturday, too. She's on Saturday. We're having it on Sunday. I know. I just seen the monkey's So, I have peeps. They're all going to meet us down at the warehouse and we're going to do the uh, auction from the warehouse since that's where a lot of my wreaths are right now so it's just easier to bring what we have here down and we got Rachel's coming to help and I'll get some other people and we'll just get this get it flowing through I am so hot right now okay by the time I get to the angel, I'm going to be like brain dead. Okay. So I, so guess, I, I guess there's no time to make me suffer. Oh, be gone with yourself. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use row one, which is the outside eight holes here. I've already preloaded these ones. So if you look at the back, this is the character board. These hole, these ones right here are going to be poops. What I'm going to be using right now are these outside eight. Okay, and I'm just going to be using a, a poof. So this is a 10 by 10 piece, not a poof. My goodness, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's a uh, just a ruffle. So I'm going to just scrunch up the middle, just like so. I like to bend mine, kind of like that. Okay, just like that. I'm going to put a... Oh, can you get closer? Oh, get closer? Sure can. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Okay, I think that's... I'm not the Mevo expert here, but I think that's good. Okay. So, and it's uh, it's pretty much the same I've done a lot of my character boards like uh, on. So I have Mod Podge this all on, so it is stuck on here. Um, so I am going to use... I'm going to use this ribbon by itself and I'm going to use these two ribbons together because I want to keep this simple I'm going to add a few daisies in the poofs as we go I might have to cut these down a bit and this is just a bunch they're little tiny daisies they're from Michaels so if you like them, go check out your Michaels now because they are from the spring collection. So more than likely they're on sale for a really good price. Okay, so I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna just open this up. I got my Ziploc tie in here. I'm gonna zip this up just like so. I'll fold this in half so I can make sure. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Um, yes, I just created it for this project. Uh, once we have all our photographs and everything done that we need done, um, I will release it to everybody else. Because it is really just a simple and it totally matches um, the ribbon I'm using. Oh, my back is just so bad right now, guys. But I will pull through all oh, these dogs. And do not cut shut the window because I will roast to death. Well, I think Mitchell made. Did Mitchell make tacos? Yeah. I'm not cooking tonight. I've been too busy. I think my son made tacos. You're not having pizza. You and your pizza.
So I just kind of crisscrossed it just a little bit so both you can see both ribbons. Okay. I am going to, I don't know why I preloaded this already. I'm going to put this on and then this on and then zip it up. I'm not going to zip it up too tight until I know exactly that it's in the middle and the ruffle is good and we're good to go. Isn't it pretty? Look at the just the, the little bit of glitter that has on it. It just takes this simple ribbon and just brings it up a notch. Man, I wish the pool was open. I am hot. Who is? Oh, poor Dave. Are you having pizza? I haven't even thought about food. I was talking about food earlier when I did the rose. I never did. Oh yeah, I ate a half a hamburger. That's right. I had my leftover hamburger from last night. <laughs> okay, LSF. What is LSF? What is LSF? Who said LSF and what does Carla it mean? Carla Hicks says LSF every time she's on here. Okay. I need to know what it is. Like, share, follow. Oh! oh. See, we just needed Lolly. Thank you. At least I think that's what it is. I think you're right. LSF. Well, LSF us. <laughs> I hope that's what it means. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That would make sense, Lolly. But you can't say the S word. You can't say the S word. You're right. But How do you said, know? But I said the S, S word. I know why you can. I don't think you can actually type it. I don't know. Yeah. I just, my brain is not functioning. Well, I'm just I just really. Well, it says, everybody says you can't. I'm mean, just still not sure why. So Lolly, I'm right. Lolly is really Yay! Lolly is so smart. So I cut my ribbons at, I cut them at 14 inches this time because I want to make sure that you can see them um, in the picture. I said like, share, follow. You are a mess. You are amazing, Lolly. No, and you, that's what she said. Oh. Some we were asking what LSF was and Lolly figured out it was like, share, follow, and that is the correct answer. Oh you can say you can't, can't type it. So oh. Like oh, you can't Oh, there we go. Well LSF us. We have the greatest followers, seriously. And we have the greatest Lolly. Lolly is going to a movie with her older sister. What are you guys going to see? Aladdin? Aladdin. Chris said she's already seen it, but she said it's fabulous. Oh, she already saw it? Yeah. But she wants to see it again. Apparently, Will Smith is the genie? Yeah, he's so funny. He has big shoes to fill because Robin Williams was the genie before. Yeah, that's what Cree said. He did an amazing job. Will, Will Smith's one of my favorites. Yeah, Will Smith is funny. He I would do that well. I love my favorite Oh, God, my back. Because people are one of my favorite shows. Like, Will Smith. So I'm just using Poly Jute to make these ruffles, and they're 10 inches. So they're 10 by 10. My ribbons are 14 inches long. I'm just keeping it very simple because um, this will just be like an everyday kind of welcome wreath that you can put on the door. And it would match pretty much any door. Doesn't matter what color your door is. And it's not going to be too over the top. You know, you can have really pretty stuff without having so much on it, like being so busy. And I'm a true believer, sometimes less is more. You can actually see the beauty of the actual wreath made than a whole 
kerfuffle of ribbons. I don't know. Just my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I love my ribbons, but sometimes it's really over the top. Whew. God, why am I so hot? It's hot in here. Is it hot in here? I made Cree open the door. That was quite the, or open the window. And we can't open the bottom part of the California shutters because Lady will bark at every single thing that walks by. It's interesting. No, Lady even barks at the leaves that blow by. Uh, no, Dutch. Uh, Did Lady do that? No. Nope. Oh, oh, I'm sketching. Is that every I've seen everything. I've done massage. I've done um, acupuncture. The problem is I've had three surgeries, and they were pretty intricate, intricate, intricate surgeries. And so the damage is actually in the muscle and in the nerves of my back. Lori, what do you put the ribbon inside the vessel? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what was the question? Or do you put the ribbon up? I'm just kind of putting it on top of that ruffle. So if you see where my finger is, there is the middle of it. I'm putting this just on top. And I'm zip it, zipping it up around the outside of the board. And this just gives the appearance of the wreath being a lot bigger without it really being bigger and really not using a lot of supplies. Okay, and this is like my favorite one to do. This is the Franklin flower I love doing. Because I get to play with the ribbons. What am I doing here? Okay, I only have two more of these outside ones to do. And then we're gonna do some poofs, stick in some ribbons, we're gonna throw in some flowers and call it done. Easy peasy. Hi from Jacksonville, Florida. What do you stick this, this zip tie? You said on it earlier, but I forgot. This is a um, tile cutter, so you can find it in like the tile aisle, like for ceramic tiles and stuff. And they're for like if you have to snip off a little piece or whatever for tile work. But you can also buy these in the jewelry section of like the craft stores. And they are just like wire snippers, but you can get right down into where you need to snip off. Um, you can use just normal wire cutters, which I do have. Um, but I really, these are my favorite because I get right down there. This is so pretty. You can see, I don't know if you can see, it's got nice little glitter and shimmer to it. So that's why I added this shimmer to this more plain burlap ribbon. I might have to go for a nap and do my angel at like three o'clock in the morning or something. <laughs> I have to get it done tonight though. Oh, shoot. Forgot to put the ribbon in. Just like, just like through. So, did you guys all see? There's lots of lives going on today. We had Debbie made a beautiful red flower. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Bright red with a black glittery center. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty. I made a rose on a small board this morning. So if you've been wanting to uh, use the small board for a rose, and it's the plastic board. So it is up on our Facebook from this morning. Thank you, Barbara. Try drying needling next. Is that like acupuncture? I've done it all. I've had in the in pain injections in my back. Um, the, like lidocaine, they inject lidocaine right into your back. You know what though? I've just come to the conclusion I am always going to have back pain, obviously. 
It's going to get worse as I'm getting older, which it has, because arthritis has set in. And it's just a fact of my life. And I'm okay with that. But I can still walk, so I really am okay with that. Dad's taking over. Dave's taking over? Yeah. Where are you going, La? Did you eat your dinner? Mm-hmm. What did you have? Tacos. Did your bro- brother make good tacos? No, because there's nothing to put on the taco. Burger, burger. There's no tomato. I know. I haven't done groceries. I've just been too busy, lover. All right, we're done the outside now. So it all kind of. That's so I love these colors. Look how pretty, and it's not like over the top. All right, now we are going to do some poofs. So I think, and I want to put flowers. And I think I might do, and push these right up to the t- very top. Can I take this for the movie? Yes. I think you have to pay for your movie. Your sister won't have money. Yeah. Well, that won't be enough yeah. for popcorn and everything. No, I don't. I you don't want popcorn? I don't so I'm going to do, I think, the flowers on every... So if you look at the character frame, now there's there's eight that we just did around the outside, correct? So in the inside circumference of two, there's 16. So what I'm going to do is where every hole that had already has a, a ribbon, that's where I'm going to put a set of flowers. And then these holes... I'm going to put some more ribbon. But I think I'm going to then just do um, one ribbon of each of these. So on these outside ones, I doubled up these two. I don't know. We'll just start it out. First, I'm going to do my poofs. I just took these, so just in case I want to. That's fine. I'll give you that to change. Okay, I think eight inch poofs. I have a set of perfect tails coming, guys. I soon won't have to use cardboard. <laughs> I think the one of the Soul Sisters must have saw me using cardboard and felt sorry for me or something. <laughs> They're gonna send me some. Yay! I can't wait. All right. Where's my mesh holder? You two. These two have been like. Oh, stop it! I can't close the window. They drive me nuts. No, you can't close the window or so I'll suffocate. I will suffocate. It's so freaking hot. And had I known it, is it going to be hot like this tomorrow? Because we're turning the air I don't on. Even find it hot. You don't find it hot? Yeah, Maybe because I've been sitting in front of this light like yeah. all day okay i'm just going to anchor this one in for right now well it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow so yeah it'll probably be hot well then i think we may have to put the air on because although i'm going to be gone most of the day tomorrow so i'm just going to zip tie this one this just this one up just like this i'm just going to anchor it i usually put a poof in there but this reef needs to be perfect okay so I got my eight inch. So I just take my eight inch cardboard or your whatever you have. I put it right against that zip tie, pull it out, and bring it like this. Okay. Oh shoot! I forgot to do my my flowers are going to go right there. Here's one. I'm going to cut this down. And I should turn my glue gun on. And as if it, if you couldn't tell, daisies were like are like my favorite flower to use in wreaths. I don't know why, just the simplicity of them. I just love them. So I'm just kind of bringing it through the zip tie, just like that. Oh. Okay.
So some of them, it, some of it's out of the zip tie, and some of it's still in. We got our poof, and I'm gonna zip it up. Okay. So once I open this up, oh, it looks so pretty. And then the next one, I'm gonna pull this up. So it'll just kind of sit pretty like that. So we'll we'll do all the foo fooing it after. Okay, so this one I am going to do right here. I'm going to do a ribbon. So I'm going to cut my ribbons. Cutting them at 14 inches. Now 14 inches may be too big for the inside one. Let me see. So with these, you construct your wreath as you're going along. Yeah, I think 14 inches are perfect. So then I'm going to do the black and white and then just simple black and I'm going to go around like that. Can you bend the flower wire into an L before you put it into the zip tie? Yeah, you can. Do you? Do I? I do at the end. But this one I didn't. So what you see, what I've done is it's right in the zip tie, and then when you're finished, see I haven't. I'm waiting for my hot glue to um, heat up because I will pull it up. But first, I want to hot glue a little bit to make sure the flower doesn't slip out. So I'll go back and uh, put some glue in and then bend it up. Okay. Just want to make sure that this is going to be good. Yep, I think I'm going to like. I think so. Oh, so the next one is a flower. my flower all off. I pushed my flower way too far, right past the stopper that's usually on the end. There we go. Okay. Actually, I should probably have all my stuff ready to go. As soon as I do this poof, I'm going to cut my flowers and cut my ribbons. Much easier when you're a little bit more organized. I had the outside ones cut. I wasn't sure what I was doing on the in the middle. I still don't know. So I just want a few of the flowers to kind of go out to the side onto the sign here and then out this way and there we go. Let's see if my glue gun is heated. Oh, put a glue stick in more. What size is the real one? Um, this, these are just all two and a half inch and I cut them 14 inches. White. Oh, yeah, we're okay. I'm just putting a little dab. They're zip tied right in there, but just in case. Okay, I'm just going to kind of push this to the side and, and get myself regrouped here. should kept these two together. 
the two black ones. I think this one, even though it's really pretty, I just think it needs that little bit of hit of bling. Which is this, this black one. And I might go back and re put some black in that one. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm usually much, much more prepared. You guys know that, but you guys get to see designing on a whim. So I'll do this next poof, and then I'll decide if I want to add the, um, the black one to this. I was thinking of just doing the three around, but I want the bling from this with the simplicity of the daisies and the simplicity of the center and just a little bit of bling. Now I think these I think these flowers are getting lost in there. I think maybe, I think maybe I'm going to try something else. Hold on. I am going to, like I normally do, slip it in with the ribbon. Sorry guys, I'm just are kind of going at, uh, and you guys are watching me create as I uh, go along here. Well, yeah, I know what I'm doing, but I just, I want to make, you don't know how you're doing. exactly, I need it to make it photo worthy because it's going to be photographed right so I want you have the finished product in your mind yes I know the finished product but I'm just trying to think of yeah. for photographs how the best how it will best photograph where did you get the flowers sorry I got everything at Michael's and this ribbon is actually Halloween ribbon so it is out, it should be out in stores by now. You know what? I think this is what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, rewind again. They had a rewind this morning. Now I'm gonna have problems because I already glued this sucker in there. love of zip ties <laughs> so I'm not putting anything in that one I'm just gonna leave it as a poof because when I open it all up at the end you will not see the zip tie come on lore zip ties in backwards my brain is mush okay I like that much better. Okay, so this one, this one is going to get cut off. So I'm going to leave the ribbon there because, and then it's going to get some black ribbon with it of the black glittery stuff. Isn't this cute with this just a little bit of green from the flower and the simplicity of all the just colors around it? I just love it. You think I would be a, like a really blingy girl because I love my, love, love, love my jewelry and stuff. But when it comes to home decor, I'm very simple. I like straight lines. I like simplicity. Mm. 
not too too over the top okay um, try and cut this flower out there we go and we are going to put it in this one so I'm still going to pull a little bit a few of the stems through the zip tie so they kind of fall onto the sign still because I think that's really cute so if you're just joining us this is the character board and we mod podge this digital insert right onto the board this one I use this mod podge that you find in all the stores for the main coat and then I went back and sprayed it with this new Mod Podge, which is actually the sealer. And you know what, guys? It is absolutely perfect. There's not a bubble. There's not a wrinkle. There's nothing. So I really like it. I brushed it on. I smoothed it on with my squeegee thing. I let it dry. And then I sprayed it with this to seal it. And the two combinations I am in love with it worked out splendidly there we go all right now we'll just zip that little girl in because flowers of course have to be little girls and then this one will just it'll be just a simple zip tie and then we're back on track again <laughs> kind of like designing like this because then you guys see that we are we all struggle with the same things that you guys do even if you're a you know an influencer or do Facebook lives and you think we got it all going on we're in the background struggling just like you guys you just don't see it because usually I have my thing prepared and I know exactly what I'm doing and but this one they're this is kind of an impromptu project, so. I think I only need four. Okay. These flowers here. I will go back at, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go back and put glue on them after I'm done. <laughs> okay, so this next one is just a poof. All right, we're back on track. I know what I'm doing here. So these are my normal, everyday, just normal uh, wire cutters. But I like these ones. <laughs> my jewelry is sticking every day. I like these ones for clipping the zip ties close to the head. All right. So now we need this one and this one. Yeah, I'm cutting my ribbon as I go. So to dub I'm dovetailing these, you're gonna fold it in half and you're gonna cut from the fold right up to the corner. And then you'll get that perfect V shape. mesh is really, or the mesh, the ribbon is really pretty, but it likes to get caught on everything.
I'm I'm just creating. So if there's dead air, there's dead air. <laughs> Dan says there's dead air. It's Sorry, dead air. Dan. I'm, I'm just. Not here. Oh. I just remember his words. Oh. I'm not actually worried about dead air right now because I'm so tired. I just want to get these done. That's probably easier than, oh, duh. I think if I did the zip tie around all of it first. You can use pipe cleaners. I probably should have used pipe cleaners. It might have been a little bit easier, but. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Change these again. <laughs> These ribbons. Okay, and this one's just a poof. Probably well, lived out. Time, it's supper time, yeah. I didn't even tell anybody I was going live. I just kind of did it only because I had to make this. So hey there, everybody's lived out. Well, I think so. There's been a lot of lives today, so. Yeah. I just kind of threw on the Mevo because I was making this, so. I like these Fisker ones. These are Fiskers, and they're just tiny. And they got kind of a curve to it. These are what I call my ribbon scissors. Um, I don't know if they're the best, but they're the ones I like for ribbon. Uh, it's a, this one probably duped. Alright, here, this time I got my ribbon ready. And my flower. Let me get my flower ready. Come on, Lori, get with the program. So I just push them right up to the, there we go, without pushing them right off the stem. Got my ribbon. Okay, this time. This is what you was on a little earlier. Yeah. Mevo is the camera we use. Somebody asked what Mevo is. Yeah. Mevo is the name of the camera. It's a live streaming camera that goes um, right to Facebook. I really like it too. You know, I just thought of something. I'm just leaving it. It looks like these. I uh, won't be able to tell once the whole wreath is done. See how these two are almost. I'm not on my game today, lovey. I'm sorry to hear that. Not on the game at all. You won't really be able to tell when I'm done. And this ribbon wants to keep sticking. Sticking ribbon. Sticking. So, Kristen got all the mesh cut for my angel. Is it cut right? Or? I have no idea if it's cut what right. What do you want it cut at? Ten inches. <laughs> oh, she probably got right then because she was cutting it. Yeah, she yeah she told me what she was doing. So. But she was cutting on the hypotenuse of the triangle. The hypotenuse of the <laughs> really. Meaning she was taking it across the top of the uh, oh the lord and going down to the nine inch on the pad. So if you do some simple uh, math, yes, you go nine inches along the base. 
square that, that would be 1 plus the 16 inches, because it's about 4 inches up on the cutter. Seriously? 16, so it's 97, so square root of, well, 100 will give you 10, so oh Lord. 10 inches. Somebody put me out of my misery. <laughs> Please. Everybody complains that they, you know, math it doesn't do you any good, but yes, it does. It does? It does. Okay, ribbon ready. Flower ready, almost. Yes, flower ready. Poof. Now, I know about eight inches, but. You cut the math on the ceiling to get accurate. My earlier comments. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I just ask you cut the mesh on the ceiling to get accurate. I don't understand what that means. As opposed to using scissors or something, you get an accurate, accurate cut on the ceiling. Well, if you pull it out far enough and proper, my daughter, because you're kind of lifting up when you have to get it on the sealer she's not she wasn't giving that one inch distance that it needs <laughs> oh. exactly what i just said just what dave said yes i don't like this bling in here Really cute. Wow. I'm loving it. Mom, Almost done. Thank goodness. Mom's really missing everything. Huh? Mom said she's really missing everything. Sorry, Mom. I'm on a, like, I'm on a kind of a mission. I have a deadline for tomorrow. I have to get these done for the photographer. And I didn't have much time. So, I'm doing... A marathon, a wreathing marathon. And I have to do the angels still. Which will probably be in the middle of the night because I really need to rest. <laughs> Sorry, Donna, how can I help you? She says, Dave, help me. Dave, <laughs> you're gonna ask Dave for help? <laughs> Just kidding, I love my guy. Him's keen. I don't know what she needs help. Probably because he's crushing. I don't know. Ask a question. Ask away. The oracle will see if he can help. <laughs> the what? <laughs> oh, with the sealer. How do you... I have a few videos. How do you get an accurate cut on the sealer? Well, I pull it out. If I want a 10-inch piece, I put my sealer right at the end of my mat, and I pull it out to 8. Because there's the inch be from... Well, my mat runs from zero so i pull it out to eight and then i seal it and um it works i usually get a 10 inch cut now my daughter was doing it and for some reason i kept getting 12 inch pieces when she cut it to figure out that she was pulling it out wrong so we figured fix that so hopefully the mesh for the angel is all done right So you can whip one of these around, uh, up really quick, as you can see. I'm almost completed. So you're kind of constructing your wreath step by step as you're going. Because normal wreathing, you would put your mesh on, then your ribbons, and then your whatever florals or whatever you're using. And we're just going step by step here. So the sign is already on your board, so you don't have to fuss around with the sign. Oh, what color? What color? This one. I should have did the angel first and did this one last. The angel's going to be a little time consuming.
ribbon. This is Halloween ribbon as well, guys. This black stuff. Celebrate it. Halloween. This one, Halloween. Get it while it's on sale. And again, these little white daisies I got at Michael's as well. And more than likely, they are on sale as they are the spring collection. Okay, I'll measure. Now when you do a few of these, you kind of know your measurements, eight, nine, and 10 as you're going and you don't have to use uh, you don't have to use anything to measure. This is me saying, nobody's been questioning it, but it's getting a little close. Can you just back up the camera a bit? Okay. Yeah, that thing's big. Yeah. Look Nobody. at me work the Mevo. Huh? Said, look at me work the Mevo. I know. So I'm still in the same bush. This can feel useless. Babe, you were down in the office all day. You're not useless. Oh, did I just... I am not putting that back together. Why do I keep pulling it out? I am just cutting another one. I'm trying to pull it right up to the end so we get all the cluster of little flowers. Okay. So again, I will be having an auction on Sunday. Um, God, I wish I put the, you know, I'm gonna end up going to turn, turn all these around, you know that, because it's going to drive me crazy. Because I didn't want the Harlequin on top of Harlequin. I wanted to, so I'm going to finish this wreath as it is, and you, you know I'm going to go back and change it. Because we are ending up with the same ribbons on top of the same ribbons, and we just can't have that. Because I'm not paying attention. Although it still looks cut good. I don't think nobody would be able to tell. Oh, Skyer can tell. Blur. Skyer, she's getting miserable in her old age. She needs some of that maca root. We Is Michelle on? <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna feed. Well, sure it's always a trail of glitter in my house. Yep. And you can buy these on our website. We have all kinds I've designed. It says, she who glitters leaves a tra trail of glitter. What does it say? <laughs> she who leaves a trail of glitter is never forgotten. Well, of course, because, you know. You guys didn't think this wreath was going to look like this when I started, eh? Yay. I am going to change these ribbons around. Okay, crabby lady, enough with the gurring. See, this is why I'm not putting a bow because it looks so pretty just like this that it's not necessary for a bow. I don't want it. I want you to see some of the, the mesh through it. I want you to see the flowers. And I forgot a zip tie here, which I'm gonna end up taking out anyways. I know, she's miserable. She's growing at nothing. Okay, so there is already a zip tie here where I anchored it. I'm going to put another one in just over top of it. I just find it, um, the poofs look better like that if it's just anchored. No, I know, right? And when I actually start opening everything up and fluffing out the ribbons. I think a bow would just be, I think it would be actually too much. Oh, come on, Laura. 
Come on, Lord. Come on. I even yell at myself. I talk to myself. Oh, it is tough too. I yell at myself. My jewelry's getting stuck. I'm hungry. I had a half of my the other half of my hamburger from last night's supper. <laughs> Pizza. I don't like pizza. I like pizza. I know you like pizza. I like the burrito place beside the pizza, though. I don't know what to order you there. Yeah, Wally sure. does. Although they already ate. I'll just have whatever Chris or Wally and Mitchell ate. Okay, cutting this off the mesh. So I didn't even use. We still have three more than three quarters of the roll. Roll this up. So we have still about three quarters of a roll left, or a quarter, I'm sorry, a quarter of a roll. Enough to do probably ruffles for another wreath. Okay, and then we're going to go around. Some of these I'm going to have to cut. I don't want to do this because I know I'm going to redo this wreath. I know it. Anyway, so I'm going to open all these up, okay? So go in and with your fingers and do open your poops up. You're going to pull your ribbons where you want them. Pull out your your um, outside tails. You see how we have two? Yeah, that's not going to work for me. So up to yeah no we'll do this open your ribbon your poops have some of your flowers going backwards and forwards now you can start moving the wire on the flowers to direct the flowers to wherever you want them and then once you start opening everything up you do not see the board, you do not see the zip ties, you're going to pull out your tails and your flowers are just going to kind of peek through the puffs, poops, puffs, whatever you call them. And then once you're done all that, you want them nice and open. push back a little bit just so you can see your sign and I'm not going to do the whole wreath uh, and open them all up because uh, I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to redo these because I really don't like how I have these two ribbons right in front of each other but you guys get the gist. Oh hanging hole. So this is the back so you see there's no mess nothing to scratch a door. These two holes right at the top here. They're actually indented on the other side, but this is where you just put a zip tie in and you can put, or you can put string or whatever you want to use. I use zip ties because I have them and they're waterproof and everything else. And you just hang it up. So obviously you can probably get the gist of how it's going to look. And I will take pictures when I'm done. I am going to redo it because these ribbons together are driving me crazy but that's it it's pretty easy I have to glue uh, the flower stems down and everything but um, yeah very simple just tails poops a few ruffles some flowers and you have a very simple really pretty everyday wreath okay all right guys um, I will see you guys later I'm not sure what time um, I'm going to try and rest before I start the angel, and I'm going to finish this, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.